Good evening, and welcome to the public hearing for the Roadway Improvement Project on State Road 60 from west of Tiger Lake Road to east of County Road 630 in Polk County. It is Thursday, January 31st, 2019. The project manager for the Florida Department of Transportation, District 1, is Mr. David Jones. With us this evening are staff of the Florida Department of Transportation who are all wearing name tags. A transcript is being made of all oral proceedings and will be part of the public record of this project. At the conclusion of the presentation, attendees who completed a speaker request card will be given an opportunity to make public comments. Any questions will be answered after the public hearing has been closed or in writing. If you did not pick up a card at the registration desk, project staff will distribute cards to anyone wishing to give a verbal statement. If you do not wish to speak publicly, you may also make a comment directly to the court reporter after the presentation. This public hearing is being held in accordance with Florida Statute Section 339.155 Section 335.199 and Section 120.525. This public hearing was advertised consistent with federal and state requirements and is being conducted consistent with the Americans with Disabilities Act of 1990. This hearing is being held to give all interested persons the opportunity to express their views relative to this project. Notice of this public hearing was published in the Lakeland Ledger on January 10th and January 22nd, 2019. Public participation at this hearing is encouraged and solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Should you wish to express any concerns regarding FDOT compliance with Title VI, please contact either Cynthia Sykes, the District 1 Title VI Coordinator, or Jacqueline Paramore, the State Title VI Coordinator, at the addresses shown on the slide, or you may use one of the forms available in English, Spanish, and Creole at the registration table. The purpose of the public hearing is to share information about the proposed roadway improvements on State Road 60. This public hearing also serves as an official forum to give you the opportunity to express your opinions or thoughts about this project. As previously mentioned, the project involves the segment of State Road 60 from west of Tiger Lake Road to east of County Road 630 in Polk County, as shown on this location map. FDOT performed an access management assessment as part of the resurfacing project. Several recommendations were made in order to meet current FDOT standards for the spacing of median openings. These safety improvements were added to this segment of State Road 60 with the ultimate goal of providing a safe and efficient roadway and providing safe placement of openings along the horizontal curve in the roadway. Improvements being proposed for this project include closing two full median openings to the east and west of Tiger Lake Road, converting a full median opening east of Tiger Lake Road to an eastbound directional opening, resurfacing the roadway from east of Tiger Lake Road to east of County Road 630, drainage improvements, and new signs and pavement markings. This slide shows the location of the proposed median closure west of Tiger Lake Road. This slide shows the location of the proposed median closure to the east of Tiger Lake Road. Illustrated here is the proposed conversion of the full median opening to an eastbound directional opening, 
This will allow eastbound traffic to still turn left at this location, but traffic exiting the driveway will be right turn only. Also proposed as part of this project is the reconfiguration of the entrance driveways and median opening at Jimmy's Truck Stop to better align with the west driveway. One of the most important responsibilities of the Florida Department of Transportation is to ensure that the design of each state road properly balances access and mobility. Access management is used to provide this very important balance. A basic principle of access management is to limit the number of conflict points along a roadway by minimizing the number of driveways and median openings and restricting certain movements at some median openings. So, what are conflict points? Conflict points are locations along a roadway where the paths of two vehicles can legally cross, just not at the same time. Each conflict point is a location where a crash can occur. This graphic illustrates the reduction in conflict points at a four-way intersection with the placement of a directional median opening. If you have more questions about access management, the Florida Department of Transportation has produced an access management brochure. It is written in a question and answer format where commonly asked questions are answered in a way that is easily understood. Copies of this brochure are available here this evening, or you can download a PDF file of the brochure from FDOT's access management website. The project is currently under design and construction is expected to begin in the fall of 2019. The estimated cost for all proposed roadway improvements associated with this project is $9.7 million. The Department of Transportation values your opinion. A court reporter is present to record a statement from anyone wishing to do so. Please give us your comments by submitting a speaker request card found at the registration table and making a comment at the conclusion of this presentation or by filling out a comment card and either dropping it in the comment box or returning it by mail to the address on the card by February 11, 2019. If you do not feel comfortable speaking in front of an audience, you may make a statement directly to the court reporter at the conclusion of the public comments. You can also give us your input by emailing david.jones at dot.state.fl.us. All comments, whether written or oral, will become part of the project's public record and carry equal weight. After this presentation, we will collect speaker request cards from anyone wishing to make a statement. We ask that you limit your comments to three minutes. Again, your public comments will become a part of the official record. And because it is very important for us to hear from you, the presenters will not be responding to questions during public comment time, but we will be listening to your comments very carefully during this formal setting. Once the official comment period is finished, Project staff will be available at the displays to answer any questions you may have. Once we collect the speaker request cards, we will call out the names of individuals who have filled out a card in the order we have received them. When you come to the microphone, please state your full name, your street address, and then give any prepared statement that you would like added to the record. Any questions will be answered after the formal hearing portion of the meeting. If you have any questions or would like more information about this project, please contact Project Manager David Jones at the address or email shown on this slide, or you can call him at 863-519-2253. You can also visit the project website at the address shown here. This information is also on the project handout available here this evening.
Thank you for taking the time to attend this hearing, and we appreciate your participation. We look forward to receiving your comments on this project.